Hello and welcome guys. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the PlayStation Classic. Now, this is for those who've either bought one from my store or if you've built one yourself, it doesn't really matter. The information is gonna be the same. We're gonna be covering and taking a look into the new AutoBleam 0.9.0 and showing you exactly how to set up the device if you first received it. And also, we're gonna take a look inside the menus and show you a couple of things. Uh, this version of AutoBleam comes with the new update that allows you to have a, a Wi-Fi and also Bluetooth. You will need to use a uh, USB powered hub um, into the OTG cable if you want to have the um, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth adapters included because it will need additional power because we're using a one terabyte external hard drive via the OTG cable as well. So all of those devices will need to be powered by a powered usb device if you choose to add those to your setup but if not you won't need a power hub just set up exactly how i'm going to show you in the video steps and you'll be good to go so let's go ahead and get started so as you can see we have our playstation classic here and it will come with an otg cable as you can see you have your usb plug in there you have the one that plugs into the back of your device and then you have the one part that you plug in your USB power. You will also receive a one terabyte hard drive. This is where all your games and all your ROMs and the software will be installed on. It's going to come also with the power or USB cable for the hard drive as well. And then of course you receive the uh, other uh, devices and cables that you will get if you you know buy a regular uh, PlayStation Classic. So the first thing you want to do is uh, plug in your HDMI cable. And then you want to connect your hard drive to the OTG cable. So Plug in your hard drive cable. We'll plug up your hard drive into the OTG cable here. And then you want to connect this to the PlayStation Classic first before you plug in the power. So plug in. So hard drive connects to the OTG cable. OTG cable plugs into the PlayStation Classic prior to putting in the power supply. And so now we're going to get our power supply. And it's just a regular um, mini USB. Plug that into the cable here. All right, as you can see, we have power now and we're gonna turn on our device. So now we've turned on our console and the first thing you'll see, you'll see the, um, the boot menu for the um, Sony, but then you'll get this black screen that's totally fine. That's normal. It may take a few minutes or a few seconds for this to boot up. And that's only because there's a hell of a lot of hard games on this hard drive. You guys, this is one terabyte of files and data and images and graphics and things like that. So it may take a few seconds to boot up into the menu, but I promise you guys, it's going to boot up. Just give it a second. All right. As you can see, we are booted into the auto bleam menu so you can see you can start auto bleam by hitting start you can rescan uh, your, your games if you need to so if for some reason you open up auto bleam let's go inside of that and for some reason it's not saying 1426 games just go ahead hit back and hit rescan and that should bring those games back up uh, you may boot it and it says go ahead and rescan when you first boot into this menu so go ahead and do so that will rescan the games. It'll take a few seconds and then it'll show all those games inside of Auto Blame. So with the next option you have, you have Emulation Station that will bring up all the other emulated games. You have N64, you have uh, in, uh, Nintendo Classic, PSP, a, a few others on there that you can. And we'll take a look at that later. Uh, you have your options. So let's go ahead and hit the select button. And with a select button, this is where you go in and you change your theme. So if you can see 
right here it's on the anniversary dark theme you can go in and change that there's like about 50 or 60 other themes on here you can add your background music and you can change whether this window is widescreen or not and some other things you can do there so that's where you go in and change the theme for auto bleam itself and also if we go into if we hold down l1 and select square you can see that we have our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth information. So this is the new update in 0 0.9.0. You have the option to have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth devices connected to this uh, PlayStation Clash Deck. As you can see, then nothing is found because I do not have anything connected as it, at this time. And if I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned, you have to have a powered uh, USB hub to, to plug those uh, dongles into in order for them to work. So we're gonna go back. So let's just jump into Auto Bleam real quick. As you can see, it has all these different games that were added. You can play as much as you want. This is the full PlayStation 1 USA bundle. Every PlayStation USA game is on this hard drive. So those are there. So let's jump into Emulation Station real quick. So we're gonna press square. You have that RetroArch logo, and then it's going to boot straight into Emulation Station. If you want, you can also change this inside of uh, RetroArch as well to go back to RetroArch if you want to just use RetroArch instead of Emulation Station. But I love Emulation Station. It's a part of the new Iris uh, build as well, and they included it in the new Auto Bleam 0.9.0, and it's awesome. It has some really nice themes that you can download. I also included a nice theme for Emulation Station for you guys. As you can see, it's searched for all those uh, different uh, titles and games there. And Emulation Station also has the game art as well. So that's new with this, this new uh, build that I did. You have all the artwork. So if you go in here to CV, you can see you have your artwork and your games there. So every game should have artwork. If you find some that do not have artwork, go ahead and send me a message and I'll make sure those are updated and for the next batch that are going to be sent out. So let's go to Game Gear. You can see we have our titles there and the game art. Go to Mega Drive, game art is there. Nintendo DS, game art is there. Nintendo uh, ES System. Neo Geo Pocket. Nintendo 64. PSP. And of course, PlayStation, the game art is not 3D on here because it's reading directly from the hard drive games itself genesis 32x oh and it looks like i found one that didn't have artwork so i gotta fix that you got sg 1000 super nes virtual boy mame and then you have your ports here. So that's basically it for um, Emulation Station. Now, one thing that I do want to point out is, let's say you want to quit Emulation Station and you want to just go back to Auto Bleam. For some reason, from some strange reason, I'm still researching this, but for some reason, if you select this option, or either of these options, there will be at least a five minute delay before it either shuts down or boots into Auto Bleam. Now, I don't know why it will work though. It, it just takes about, I've noticed about three to five minutes just to do that. I am apparently other people have had this issue. I haven't gotten it to figure out why it does that, but it does that. So if you, if you guys know why it's doing that, go ahead and drop that in the comments and send me, send me a resource so I can get that corrected. But for, for now, there's a three to five minute delay and it will boot directly into auto back to auto bleam. And it will also shut down the system after that delay as well. But other than that, that is how uh, you navigate uh, auto bleam, the new update. Those are the new additions. And if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me, support at infinitygamemods.com. You can also reach me here if you have any questions or comments or any concerns. 
And thanks again, guys, for watching. If you bought from my store, thanks for purchasing. And if you haven't bought from our store, check it out, infinitygamemods.com. We sell modded gear, we sell game systems, game consoles, everything that you can think of as retro is coming. We have some other things down the pipeline that are coming as well. So stay tuned and thanks again for watching, guys. See you later.